Hi everyone, it's Angela Palmer here from Stamp with Angela. I'm looking forward to sharing some crafting and inspiration tips and ideas with you today. I'm a Stamping Up demonstrator based on the North Shore here in Auckland. I've been a demonstrator for over 11 years. So I enjoy what I do, being able to craft and stamp and have fun making lots of things. And I enjoy being able to share that with others too, both with in-person classes and things online as well, like today's live, which you'll be seeing either possibly through Facebook or YouTube. So whether you're here live or whether you're watching the recording later, thank you for joining me. And I hope you um, enjoy what I'm going to create, that it inspires you with your crafting and you have lots of fun doing your stamping and card making and things as well. So today is the 29th of February. So we've got a bonus day this year. That's an extra day of the month with a leap year. So I hope you're making the most of it. And today is also the last day of Stamping Up's celebration promotion. So that's actually been around for two months for January and February. And today is that final day. So hopefully you've made the most of that opportunity that you might have ordered and um, chosen some free product with that if you spent $110 or maybe you've even decided to join up and benefit uh, as a Stamping Up demonstrator too. So if you haven't, it's not too late. There is still today. You can still own it. You can still join up. And I thought today, since it is the last day of celebration, I'm going to make some simple cards with you that use a couple of the designer series papers that are available through uh, celebration. Uh, now, that what I'm making today, you can apply to whatever uh, pattern paper that you've got at home. Maybe you've got some um, stashed away there. You can use that up. Or if you're needing some ideas to use your celebration paper, you could try what um, I'm making today as well. Today's going to be a little bit different. I'm going to show you three cards that I've made similar design, and I'm going to get you to help choose um, some of the colors and combinations and see what we end up with. So I hope you'll um, join with me. Obviously, if you're watching this later, you won't have any input, but if you're here live, you can contribute. So I appreciate you being here. Okay, so I'm going to turn the camera over to my craft desk and we will get started. And just remember too, if you've got any questions or comments, please feel free to comment and ask and I'll do my best to answer. And remember, I am wanting your input because you're going to help with today's card. All right, over to my craft table. Here we are. Okay, so the paper that I have chosen to use today is the Flight and Airy paper, which I've got some of the sheets here, which is very nice. So if you like birds and flowers and that kind of thing, this is what the paper looks like. So this paper is available for free through Celebration. So this paper is quite full on this side, but the other side is um, some, what do you call it? So like monochromatic colors, you've just sort of got one color or some other designs with flowers, but no birds and things. So very versatile paper. It has been one of the popular ones. Many people that have ordered through me have chosen that. So I've decided to use this sheet today to make today's card. So what I'll do is I'll show you the three different cards and then you can help me decide what we're going to make. So this was the first one that I did. Um, so I use the colors that are in the paper for my card base. So this has got fresh freesia. And if you open it up, you'll see that I've actually put a little strip of paper inside as well. And I've got an embossed background. I don't know if you can see, it's the exposed brick embossing folder. I haven't added any embellishment or ribbon or twine or anything on this one. Kept it simple. Uh, the next one I made was using Misty Moonlight. So there's a bit of blue in there. The paper says Misty Moonlight and Boho Blue, but I've run out of Boho Blue, so I'm using Misty Moonlight, like my blues. Used a different embossing folder. So that embossing folder is available through Celebration, and I'm just having to look up what it's called. It's quite cool because it's quite a detailed one. It's on page 75. It's the layered florals, but you can see quite large flower images and quite sort of, um, what's the word, quite a prominent sort of design there. And this time I have added, I've added a little bit of white, Baker's twine and some of my favorite rhinestone gems. 
So that sort of steps it up a little bit, the front embossing folder in the background. And the third one is with a white background, like so. And so not so much color. I've gone with the fresh freesia to accent the paper and uh, my sentiment, but I have um, kept the base white. And I've used the embossing folder I've used is one that's available through Celebration. It's the part of the softly surfaced. No, what is it? Let me just check. Uh, yeah, it is softly sophisticated. I was right. It was part of this one here where you can get the stamp set and the embossing folder. So bear that in mind as well. So these cards are not, uh, well, this one was kind of inspired by someone else. Then I've sort of changed it up a little bit. So a lady called Terry Gaines, I think is her name. So giving credit to her that it's not all original, but um, it's great to see other people's ideas and then kind of, you know, create your own or vary it up and things as well. So you'll see that I've used the double oval punch there and I've made thank you cards because I quite often need thank you cards and I've used the go to greetings stamp set because um, it has your thank yous just a note thinking of you happy birthday in the three different sizes. So I've used the small thank you but I've got another card where I actually use slightly bigger so you can help me decide when we make the card if we're going to go for that or a slightly bigger design. All right, so the first question I have to ask you is which color card base are we going to go for? Are we going to have it completely white? Are we going to go for the fresh freesia? Or are we going to go for the misty moonlight? So I'll give you a moment to have a think and chat, and hopefully I'll get a little bit of feedback there, and you can tell me what you would like for the background color for the card base. Any um, thoughts there? Love to hear from you. There's a few of you watching. I know it takes a little while for um, me to speak, you to get the message. So tell me what would you like? So I'll to show you I am prepared. Where are they? She says I am prepared. Oh, they're right here. So I've got a white base. I've got a fresh freezer base and I've got a misty moonlight base. So as you're typing, I will just show you um, with the paper. So you kind of want to get the design so you get most of the bird. So if anything, you want to trim a little bit off the bottom and then cut through. And you might get some of those strips you can put inside. So I have made this uh, five centimeters wide. And then my other piece that's going to go behind it is going to be five and a half. So then you get a little border either side. Now, if you've only got scraps left, you could just have some thin pieces and put them top and bottom and have nothing in the middle um, and then try and get an even size. So if, you, if you're using scraps, that's another way of doing it as well. So it looks like the Moonlight one is the favorite at the moment from Linda. Anyone else want to have their say? Otherwise, we'll go ahead with that. All right. So I'll move the other cards out of the way for the moment. All right, so we're going with this one here. So there's not too much stamping. So the next question, um, and as I glue this together, is what are we going to emboss our background with? So are we going to go for this one here, which is the embossed brick, which is more of a subtle design, sort of you can see the bricks and then that sort of, I don't know, patchy kind of looks. That's one option. Uh, this one here is the, what did I say, layering florals. So quite a more detailed flower or the softly sophisticated one. Okay, so now I need input on that one too. So have a think while you're deciding, we are going to glue this onto here. So whether you like tape or glue, um, I'm gonna go for the glue option and we'll put that on with a um, space top and bottom. So remember the DSP was five centimeters wide and the cardstock was five and a half, so just a little bit bigger. Um, and the width is 14.3. Okay, so I need input on which embossing folder to use, otherwise I'm going to have to choose. So here we go, floral, Softly sophisticated or the exposed brick. So I've got those embossing folders here ready to go. There's that one. 
this one. I'll probably have to do it off camera because the machine won't quite fit under here. It's a bit bulky. All right, any input? I'm not seeing any comments about what embossing folder. I might have to decide very soon. So for those of you watching later, sorry that you can't input in this. Maybe you'll have to have a go at making your card with um, the ones that you want to make. All right, one more. Um, oh, I see a new comment. Here we go. It's exposed brick. Okay, thank you, Linda. Appreciate your input. Um, I'm not quite sure how easy it is to comment. Whether you have to, I think you have to accept or something first. So hopefully you can comment. Or oh, another one. Oh, me too. Okay. <laughs> Right, excuse me as I just go off camera and put this through. Doing it now. So this is a 3D embossing folder. So I'm using the specialty plate to do that. All right, so we've got the exposed brick here. And it's my standard card size, 14.85. And then, actually, you know what? After saying that, I have grabbed a different embossing folder. They are very similar, but this is not actually the exp um, exposed brick. This is the timeless, war uh, typeless type warm or something, I can't remember, which has been about a little bit longer. So it doesn't have the brick on it. So we're going to go for a different one. I'm not going to go back out the room to go grab it. So sorry, they are similar, but there's no bricks on this one. So it's will adapt. Okay. So gluing that on, and I do have to make sure, yep, the words are up the right way. So I don't know if you, oops, you can kind of see a little bit of words there. So we're going for a fourth option, unintentionally, but there we go. Then we're going to put this on here. So it's basically a strip of the designer series paper is our focal point. So you, what you need to do when you're making your card is have a look at the description of what colors are used in the paper if it's stamping up paper and then choose one of those colors that work for your card base and like i said i'd probably like to go with the boho blue a little bit more but that's going to be on my next order all right while we're gluing and things i'm going to put this on the inside and then my little strip as well so i quite like stamping or putting something on the inside but obviously we're not really stamping much on this card so we will have to go with a strip of the designer series paper and gluing that too not too much glue we don't want it to squirt out the side uh, is there a right way probably that way a little gap and then putting that on here we go okay so then i'm going to use my double oval punch to stamp my sentiment and we have another choice coming up so we are going to have a look at if we want what i'll do is i'll do both and then you can choose if we want the bigger sentiment or the smaller sentiment so i'm just grabbing sorry a piece of paper to cut oh, to stamp on so we got misty moonlight so we need a misty moonlight ink pad And I'll show you the two thank you. So this is the bigger one here. Oops, that's not very inky. Let's we'll try again on the other side. We'll do the edge. Maybe it needs inking up. That's a bit darker. Excellent. We get a second try. And the smaller one is a little bit more dainty. Again, we'll use the edge. Do it a little bit lower, I think. It's wonky, but that's okay because we're going to punch it out. So with punching these out, you don't want a big fat piece of cardstock, otherwise you're going to waste it by cutting out there. So you just want a narrow strip, then you can put it in and we can angle it so it's more in the center. There is a tiny bit of ink there, so I might actually have a go at that one again. So with this thank you, it literally just fits. And we're going to do the little one again too and try not to get a little flick of that's better. All right, so we all sometimes have to have another go. Oops, putting it in and... All right. Then we are going to get another strip. It's not so vital with this because it's near the top. We can just cut where we need to cut. 
So I'll show you our two options. So we're going to put that on there and we can have it like that so it's quite sort of dainty like I did with the other ones. Or we can do that one where it's a bit more prominent and you can see the whole thing more. So what are we going for? We're we going for the larger one or the smaller one? Let's have a look if we've got any feedback. Oh, we are getting some comments. That's good. Um, appreciate your input, Linda. Emboss the word for more interest. Right. Okay. Um, the little one. Yeah, I think probably for this card, the little one is a little bit more delicate. And the image is a bit more delicate. So let's go with the little one too. So what we're going to do is we'll put that in here. And we're going to put it on with dimensionals. So we'll get our dimensionals, a couple of those. Now that it's hopefully dried, put that on, grab our little take your pick tool and lift those off. All right, so we're going to put it over here. Try not to hide the birds too much. There we go. How's that? Slightly angled, but that's okay. All right, so if we want to, we can we could leave it like that. That could be our finished card. Or we can step it up and add a little bit of some twine. What is it? Baker's twine? Yep. So I'm going to tie a white bow here and put it on with a glue dot using bits, my scissors that have got only used for ribbon and things. So I probably want the tails a little bit more similar lengths. Here we go. Glue dot. Where are you? Uh, way down here. I need to rip off the extra bit. And we'll put it up here so we don't kind of hide the sentiment too much. Just going to rip that off so we don't have that in our way. And then I've put a little bit of sparkle on it. My favourite because it goes with anything. Maybe not so much masculine, but it goes with any colours. We will put on our iridescent rhinestone. So there's sort of a gap up there. We'll go there. We will go one lower, maybe down here. And a little one over. I might put it there this time. I don't know. Sort of in a triangular sort of direction is how I work it. So there we go. Did we do the inside? Yes, we did. So that's a way that you can use your designer Zeri's paper. So a fairly easy card. So you can decide if you want a white background, coloured, but it does actually look quite striking with the um, misty moonlight that sort of stands out a wee bit. So I did one in another paper, so you can see how different it looks. So the paper that I've used is the tool one. So we're looking for a more masculine look here so it's got you know the tools and things these are two different papers that one's got the saw on it this one doesn't um the red i'm going to close my ink pad so we don't get ink where we don't want it there we go um that one there with hammers this one looks a bit like a pegboard but oh, there is another one here i've used quite a few so i've got lots of scraps and things in a bag oh that's the other side of that so let's flip it over Oh, we've got like the roller, the screws, and other designs as well. There is one more page. Oh, this one maybe. Is that what I'm missing? Yes. Okay. So let's see what I created with this one. So the design is quite different. So it's going to give a different look. So this is what it looks like. Okay. I'll hold it, zoom in a little bit as well. How's that? So I've gone for a different embossing folder. I've gone for, I think it's, oh gosh, metal something. Um, and I had wondered maybe instead of white, whether I would try another color in the background somehow, maybe a crumb cake or something different. So it's not too much white, but um, same sort of design. And of course, I haven't done any like that, but if you had a paper, you could always do it this way and then have your logo there. I just yeah, kind of thought about that now. Um, so it might be worth, I might have a go at that as well, of turning it around. 
So there you are. I hope you like today's card. That's given you an idea for some ways to use your designer series paper. So here are our different cards. And then there's another one using the Trusty Tools DSP. So I'm just going to go over a few things that are happening at the moment. So our current catalogs are our mini catalog. I'll move my cards out of the way. Our mini catalog, which goes until the end of April, or something like the 2nd of May or something. And then our annual catalog, which will go to around the same time too. And then we've got celebration, but celebration ends today. Okay. So if you had your eye on any of these products inside, um, like watermelon stamp set, the Sunny Days paper, this this is what I use today, the Flight and Airy DSP, the Cradle with Love stamp set. These can be um, earned with a $100, $110 purchase. We've got the Softly Stippled paper. We've got the Most Adored Specialty paper. Any of these... Um, $110, you get them for free. The stamp set heart fill hellos, which coordinates with a hexagon punch. And here's what I use today, the trusty tools, um, well, trusty toolbox DSP, actually. And the Jungle Pals stamp set. So all those can be redeemed to, uh, for $110 order. There's dies that coordinate for that for $220 orders. And you've got the embossing folder I used on one of the cards with a stamp set if you spend 220 or more. And also this quite detailed stamp set, the do detailed dogwood um, as well. Then Stamping Up did release in February some more items that are current products um, that you could choose, including some of the papers, a card kit, a couple of stamp sets. The punch, I believe, is out of stock now, so you can't get that one. Um, yeah, so there's a few things there that you can choose. So um, remember, today is the last day for celebration. Okay, so if you want to make the most of these free products that you can get, then make sure you do that today. You can go onto the online store or you can contact me and I will help you with your order. Um, what else? I think that is most things. Oh, I should also mention, I guess, um, we have an event happening. Uh, let me just come back to the screen. All right, back to me. Where am I? Here I am. So, um, yes, on the Saturday, the 9th of March, we have our Auckland Extravaganza event, which is held on the North Shore. And in Northcote, if you'd like to attend, we'll have a wonderful afternoon where you get to make five different projects, learn or use different stamping up products, learn some new techniques, have fun crafting, be inspired, and then um, you will get to make those over the afternoon with other people that like uh, crafting as well. Now, I know not all of you are in, are in Auckland. Many of you are uh, all around New Zealand. So sorry you can't come to this, but if you are in Auckland, you'd like to come, please let me know. Register um, by tomorrow so we know numbers and things. That would be great. It's $50. Um, and if you spend, place an order on the day and spend $50 or more, then you get $10 off. So that's a cool idea. All right. Um, so if you would like to register for the Auckland Extravaganza, the link should be in my description for this video. Um, and remember, if you're not on my mailing list, I'd love you to um, sign up. I send out emails each week, particularly a bigger one at the beginning of the month, lots of ideas, inspiration, things that are exclusive to my newsletter. I don't post on Facebook or um, blog and things, uh, just certain things for my uh, newsletter subscribers. I'll keep you up to date with promotions and things as well, because next week, once celebration is over, don't panic, we have a new set of online exclusives coming. So they are not in the current catalogue. They will be in the online store. I believe it's from the 4th of March. Um, and that's a way to, you know, be able to share with you some new products without having to wait for a catalogue. So there's some exciting things there. 
Very good. All right. Well, I hope that you have enjoyed today. You've inspired. I'd love to see um, some creations you make. Maybe you can use this little layout, use up some paper that you've got, um, and then use a punch to um, put a sentiment on, and you'll have lots of fun with your crafting and card making too. So thank you for being here. I appreciate Linda with your input. Lynette, thanks for joining today as well. And others, um, I know not everyone can necessarily comment, but for those of you that have, thank you. Really appreciate you being here. If I can help you with any questions or with your crafting, or if you'd like to order or anything like that, please let me know. Now, I'm sorry, I just did forget to mention one last thing. So um, with Celebration, we also have the joining offer. So that's in the back of the brochure. Um, no matter where you are in New Zealand, although I'm in Auckland, I've got team members from all over New Zealand. I can still be there to support and help you. We have a team and we meet up online via Zoom once a month. There's a Facebook group. So there's ways to still connect and support each other. So if you'd like to join up, um, with, I'd love to have you in my team. So if you'd like to know more about that, uh, get in contact with me or um, there's information on my Facebook page. Uh, if you sign up, basically it's $189 for the starter kit. You get to choose up to $285 worth of product that you would like to put in that kit. And if you join up today, the last day celebration, you can choose the glass mat or not, or you can get that for free. So I don't know if you saw it in my... Whoops in my um, presentation here but this is the glass mat that you will get along with a silicon tray and um, a chamois so um, it will be available later in the year we've been told firstly um, as a pre-order for demonstrators who haven't got it yet and then the and customers but it could be a while away before that happens so if you um, are interested in being a demonstrator and you like the glass mat as well then sign up today. If you need help with that, sing out to me um, and I'd love to support you. Uh, some people do it as a hobby. Some people do it as a business. You can make it suit you. All right, so there we go. So that's today's live. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's cards. Where have they gone? They have, I've moved them out the way. Oh, here they are. So just refreshing to show you again what we made. Here are today's cards. Lovely. A great way for you to use up or use some of that beautiful paper that you have got. All right. Are we going back? Yes, here we go. <laughs> All right, chopping and changing a lot today. Okay, so thanks for being here. I look forward to sharing with you again next week. I'll have something new to share with you. Please reach out to me if I can help in any way. Enjoy your card making and crafting, and we'll see you next time. Bye.